Well, when it comes to rigs, as you've seen on strike zone bill fishing, we've mainly live baited and skip baited. Now, as you've seen, George has just rigged a great little skip bait. But for the live baiting, it's pretty much the identical rig. Same thing, starting at the other end, I suppose you could say. You've got your circle hook, 13 O's, 14 O's, are pretty good. And there's your bridle sitting off it, which is just light Dacron. Obviously, which we'll show you, bridle and the bait up. We run roughly six to seven feet of 200 to 300 pound extra hard now, momoi. Now, the thing is, we like to change them a bit. If we're fishing out wider, trying to chase bigger blue marl and stuff, obviously you're going to go up and run heavier gear. Same thing, if you're in close on the little blacks, drop down, go to 150 pound, even to 100 pound on your leaders. We like short leaders, because what we've been doing is running straight through to a snap and then a wind on leader. This is making it easier for us to bring the fish up and, and to handle them a bit quicker. And it really takes out the need to have someone leadering the fish. You still do it, but you don't have to have it. It's a simple rig. And what we're also gonna have to show you today is crimping a Flemish die. Because as you saw, we had a situation there where it snapped off. So what I should also show you is that down the bottom end, down the business end, we don't put the Flemish die. Reason being, once we grab the leader, get the fish up, if we put enough pressure on it, nine times out of 10, that's where it's gonna break, which is perfect, makes the release a lot easier, doesn't hurt the fish, the fish doesn't take any line away. But at the other end, which is the end that you join to your swivel, we put a Flemish die in there, which I'm gonna show you in a minute how to do. This is great, we make a heap of rigs, so all you do is simply do, is pin them on, close your snap, do that. Because once you've caught a couple of fish, you should check your leaders, run your fingers down like that, and you'll start to see it getting abraded, and, and it weakens it. Rig up a heap of the spare ones, and then you can swap straight over. And as George was saying before, rig up a heap of skip baits. Have them all rigged on leaders ready to go. Same with your live bait rigs. Have them all ready with your, with your little Dacron loop ready to go at the end. That way, when the action's going, because your bite's only gonna last for a certain time, you've got the gear ready, and you can get straight onto the fish. Now, the other side of tackle we need to show you is how to crimp a Flemish die. What we gotta do is open our little bag of goodies. And as you can see, we've got everything in here. Those out of the ways. Get your crimp tool. It really is a good idea having packs like this, where you've got, as you can see, I've got everything in. Now, Here's my leader, we're running 150. This is great because I can just pick the one I need out of there. So running 150 pound. Grab one of these. Now these are the double sided. There's two types of, you can see it there. There's two types you can have. Either these ones which are the doubles or you get the aluminium ones which are the bigger single ones. In this case we're running this. What you do is slide it in through there. They can be a tight to fit. The slider in, it's a nice tight fit. See that? So we've pushed it through and it's gone through one side. Now, pull it up. What we do is you want to wrap that. So you get your tag. Tag goes around one, two. Pull that down nice and tight. It's a little bit fiddly to do. And then you slide it around. So see how now I've got, that's the basic form of your Flemish die. Two wraps around it. Then just slide that tip back in through there. So now you can see it started to form. So what you do then, put your finger either side, hold this, so hold that tightly, put finger either side, and push down and pull away. So see how I'm pulling away and tightening it up? And then two fingers on here, and slide this up into place. And then you just do it again. So you just work it in so it's fairly tight. Push that up nice and tight. Now here's your finished product. You've got double wrapped over there, so you're reinforcing this, which is a wear point, because on your swivel, it's obviously, you know, it's gonna be working a lot there. So what we've done is we've doubled it up with the Flemish die because with your swivel and things like that, it's gonna wear a lot there. It's a place it's gonna break. So by doubling it up like that, you're just reinforcing it and strengthening in probably one of your weaker points in the whole system. Now probably the most important thing to remember is to crimp it. As silly as that sound, you would not believe the amount of people that go and put it out like that. And you can imagine they don't get too many fish because it pulls through. So then, when it comes to crimping, it's pretty simple. Get your pliers, this one sits upright, 
it sits in the first gauge there. You have the different gauges or the different sizes to fit the different ones. Obviously the bigger ones get the bigger crimp. I like to push it down on the thing, on the bait board. Push down, don't be afraid to push nice and hard. Now what we'll do is just trim it off and make it neat. Take this tag, trim that away. And there you have the Flemish die crimped and ready to go. And it's perfect for changing over. Again, you've got your heavy your snap swivel there. Just slide her on like before. Close your snap, I suppose. Close your snap is probably a good idea. And there you are, ready for action. That's a lot more durable than the other way where you've got it, as you can see with this hook there, which is the way a lot of them do it. Because see how that wears there? This movement is slowly weakening the line. Even with Momoi, which has got the hard outer shell, that action moving is slowly creating wear and reducing the strength. With this, you've, got, you've doubled up. So it's just got a little bit more strength. So you're spreading the wear over two bits of line rather than one. Again, over time, you really do just change them. In it, if in doubt, just get rid of it and put a new leader on. And like George was saying before, practice. It doesn't just go for your live baits and, and rigging up your skip baits. Make up a heap of rigs and have a heap ready. And if you're not 100% happy with that, don't use it. Always test them as best you can. You know, make sure it's stretching and there's nothing there, which is a great way if you have the problem of not crimping, which is an unbelievably common problem. So check your gear and you'll catch a lot more fish. It's attention to detail.